One thing about me, I will perform in the beginning of a video. Got used to the silence of the night. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Hey Gamma Gang, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another video and today it is featuring our family DSTV, of course. One thing about DSTV, they keep the lights on, <laughs> period. <laughs> just a quick side note, um, I'm fresh faced today because I just come from a facial um, and I can't do my makeup. I didn't know that, they told me that I couldn't do my makeup. So here we are, natural beauty, the category the skin. I'm trying to like fix this area. Anyway, this is not what the video is about. So today we will be unboxing DSTV's internet. So I don't know if you guys know, but DSTV provides internet now, which you know what? They're in their bag. They are in their bag for that. So we will be unboxing it together and I'll be telling you a little bit about it and learning more together. So yeah, today I'll basically be telling you about DSTV's new LTE router, but before we start the video, don't forget to like this video and of course, subscribe, join the Gamma Gang, it is a vibe over here. Click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Where is my voice? But what is new? What is new? So this is what the box looks like. The box that it came in, just a regular, regular box. It has the modem in the front. LTE router. I love that the modem is black. So on this side it says this box includes LTE router, product information, power supply, RJ45 network cable. Um, and then on the side it just like has the model specifics, I guess. So let's open it up. <laughs> so when you open the box, it has the router, of course, in this plastic. I'm assuming to keep it protected and then you open it and it's such a pretty matte color. I love it. So on the front, um, I don't know if you guys can see, it says power, Wi-Fi, phone, 3G, 4G and SIG, I guess this is to show the strength of the internet. Then at the back, it's obviously all the plug points. Um, Switching it on and off, the power source, phone two, phone one, all the LANs, and USB over there. So it's a pretty straightforward router. Then it comes with this network cable, just a simple gray network cable, nothing out of this world. Um, and then it comes with the power supply. Simple power supply, you guys know how that works. And then it gives us this pamphlet that says, Getting started with your device. So I'm assuming this is going to tell us how we're supposed to set this up. Oh, it also came with a SIM card, a DSTV SIM card. Oh my gosh, it already popped out. But yeah, basically. <laughs> Here's the SIM. It says made by, by MTN. So let's put this baddie together. Okay, so this here on the side, I don't know if you can see, this is where we're gonna put in the SIM card. Obviously, because without the SIM card, ain't nothing gonna happen. So I'm just gonna put that in. Okay, finally, <laughs> um, our SIM card is in there. And then I'm gonna take this power cable and I'm gonna plug that in, obviously, because we need it to work. Then we're just gonna plug this in here like so and then I need to plug it with my extension cord <laughs> let's go ahead and plug that let there be light <laughs> so I'm gonna switch on the power button is it on here we go okay while it switches on and like sets up I guess I'm going to peel this off isn't it so satisfying when something is new and then you can like peel it off. So, oh, there we go, everything's switching on. Let's peel this. Oh, love that. Okay, something's happening. I don't know, is the Wi-Fi thing supposed to be on? Okay, let's go through the manual. Let's, let's look into that. 
I love to get my way through things. Like even like putting together like furniture when I order it. I always try to figure it out on my own before I use the actual instruction manual. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. The 3G and 4G is flashing. So I'm assuming that means it's working. The password and stuff is underneath. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys. Next thing you know where I live. And you camp outside my house. <laughs> Trying to use my internet. Um, let's try connect. Okay, we are officially connected. As you can see. So let's see what's popping with the internet. Oh yeah, it's working. And it seems quite quick, I must say. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite simple to set up, nothing difficult. I'm gonna keep it right by my TV. Now I'm sure you have a lot of questions, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more information about their new router. So the DSTV internet was launched late last year and is available to current DSTV customers or new DSTV customers. So you can get the DSTV internet package if you don't have a DSTV account, um, but if you do, if you are a DSTV customer, you can get it bundled with your DSTV package and then you have access to the internet. On that note, if you do want to check what packages they have, the options that they have, if you are interested, do check it out on DSTV.com, it'll answer all your questions, it has all the information that you need to know in terms of what packages are available and how much they cost. One thing I did see, you can connect up to 32 devices. I don't know who knows 32 people um, at the same time in your house. Maybe you're hosting a party, maybe you want your neighbors to connect, but you can connect 32 devices. So if you have 32 devices to connect, this is the curly for you. <laughs> Another cool feature, which I think is really cool, especially if you're someone who likes to move around, is when you sign up for the DSTV internet, you can sign up under two addresses. So it could be your main residential address, obviously if there's coverage, and then you can sign up at a different address, such as your mom's address, your brother's address, your sister's address, whatever it may be. Then, whenever you go visit them, you can take your router with you and use the internet there. Another thing is you are allowed to change your address three times a year which is really cool if you move a lot. If you guys know me and you've been an OG on this channel, you know I've moved apartments every year. At this point, I feel like I move every six months. I honestly, I'm over it. I'm not moving ever again at this point. But if you're someone who moves a lot, um, if you're about to move or anything like that, you won't run into like the admin of having to register into a new Wi-Fi and all that admin, Lord knows. That admin can be very annoying to deal with in the midst of moving. So with the DSTV internet, all you do is change your address and voila, you sort it. So not a lot of admin, you don't have to do too much, you just need to change your address. So I love that, absolutely love that, very convenient. So once you've signed up and you've submitted all your important documents, you know all that admin and the important stuff once that's done, you'll receive an email invitation to the Trusted Home app. Now, the Trusted Home app is one of its kind and it's only available with DSTV internet. So the Trusted Home app is almost like a virus protector of sorts um, because I mean we deal with hackers, especially as of late, the hackers have been working over time. So what the Trusted Home app does, it is it protects your DSTV internet. One, it can be linked to your home camera system. So if you have a camera system in your home, you can link it to your DSTV Trusted Home app. It also filters sites that your family has access to, especially if you have kids. Um, it's kind of like a, a big brother of sorts, like protecting your kids from seeing things they shouldn't be seeing, um, making sure that everything is kosher, which I really, really love. It can also schedule online time, so if you have kids, um, and you know, you don't want them to be on the internet all the time, especially when they come back from school and they need to do homework. There's online time where they won't be able to be on the internet at a certain time. They can only log on at certain times when they're like done with their homework. I think that is so great. If you have kids, that is a great feature. I mean, in this day and age, we live on the internet, we're always on our phones, we're very unproductive, um, and I think that can be a danger to kids. I mean, when we grew up, the only thing holding us back was playing outside, <laughs> whereas they have apps and TV and all these things, so I really like that it kind of caps it, um, keeps them focused, they can stop watching Peppa Pig for a few moments so they can do their homework and their ABCs and then they'll have time to log back on. So if you have kids, definitely, definitely look into it. I, I think it's brilliant. If I ever have kids one day, I'm gonna need this. Another great thing is it can pick up hackers 
right before you're about to get attacked. So if someone's trying to hack you or hack into your internet system or your home camera system, whatever it may be, the Trusted Home app will let you know right before it attacks, which is great. So instead of like getting hacked and then only it's like, oh, listen, someone just hacked you. You need to wake up. It tells you right before so that you're aware and it doesn't happen. So I love that. So you're constantly protected because a lot is happening on the internet these days. Things are getting leaked. So I love that it gives us peace of mind in that sense where you're covered, you're protected, you won't get hacked and you're safe. The app can also show you the speed of the internet. So for example, if you want to download a movie, you can check out the internet speed to see how long it's going to take. So if you check and then you can see that the internet speed is doing pretty well, then you know when you download a movie, you don't have to wait for hours. You can just quickly download it and download the next thing and watch offline, which I think is really convenient. So if you're someone who likes to download things and watch things offline, I think that is a great feature. Also another thing which is great if you don't finish your data for that month whatever monthly package that you chose it does roll over into the next month so you're not pressured to use up the data because it's the 29th and the 31st is around the corner nope you can carry it over into the next month and continue watching which i think is great so yeah if you're someone who doesn't have fiber and you need internet right away look into dstv internet um i'm checking now and it's moving very smoothly can't complain i'm going to refresh my feet, oh, RIP Ricky, may his soul rest in peace. Um, everything is flowing, so can't complain. As per usual, I'll leave everything you need to know in the description box below, but don't forget, do visit dscv.com if you want to check out the packages and what options you have. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer all of you. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, join the comment gang, and I'll catch you in my next video.